So apparently Comcast has a new streaming device called the XI1. And this is set to compete with your Apple TV, your Roku, your Nvidia Shield. At least that's what they're saying. Let's go ahead and jump into the details. So today I will be reading from vulture.com. I'll of course link this article in the description. Uh, if you have any questions or have more details on this, drop in the comments and I'm sure everyone would appreciate. How do you say the name of Comcast's new streaming box? Uh, well, it's pronounced XI1, but the spelling is going to be a little bit different. With more streaming devices to keep track of in the past few years than the Ryan Murphy Netflix show. I don't get that reference. You'll be forgiven for assuming that cable was on the way out, but this time last year, 77.6 million US households still subscribe to cable, satellite, or telecom TV. Those numbers dropping fast, however, and the choice pay TV companies are facing existential, adapt, or become an American horror story. Comcast answered the question is a new streaming box today, which was uh, five days ago. So that puts us as September 22nd. So running a little bit behind on this one. So today the company rolled out an announcement for a new device with a funny name, XI1. So spell X I O N E. Intend to be pronounced more like the acronym. So the X, the letter I, and the number one. So XI1. And this is according to the, the Comcast spokesperson that was asked this question. So it looks like other set-top boxes on the market right now. Good news is that it'll be offered free to Comcast customers. They just have to sign up for the subscription tiers. The box is already available in SkyQ customer in Germany and will soon roll out to initial and customers on Xfinity Flex plan, the company internet package only. So looks like if you're already Xfinity um, customer on the, the Flex plan, this device will be free, it looks like. Comcast said a plan to eventually make it available to Xfinity X1 US subscribers, but did not give a timeline on that. So details on today's release is sparse, but judging by the photos released, the size of the gadget and the remote functionality looks comparable to what we see on Apple TV and Roku Ultra. Details in today's release are sparse, but judging by the photos released, the size of the gadget and the remote functionality looks comparable to what users on Apple TVs and Roku Ultras might already be familiar with but run on the same software the SkyQ model has the company's logo but also has a bit boxy whereas the US model is rounded off and looks a lot like one of my hard drives so as far as the, some of the specifications that's the XI1 will ship with voice remote and will support Wi-Fi 6 standard 4k UHD HDR Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos Comcast also confirmed Vulture that it will run on the company's flex OS packed four gigs of RAM under the hood. The last Apple TV has three gigs. So trying to compare the Apple TV, they're trying to hint that it's a faster device, but more RAM doesn't necessarily mean um, better speeds. And include access to 250 streaming apps and services, including major ones like Disney Plus, Netflix, Prime Videos, YouTube, and Hulu. Peacock Premium is also on it, of course, because the subscription comes bundled for the Flex users already. So at least we have some of the specifications. Like I said, it doesn't go into storage. And if you guys know what um, the Flex OS entails, it sounds like it's Android based, but I'm not really that familiar with it. So that's where I'm going to leave that one today. My thoughts on the situation is that the box could be pretty good. It could have a nice user interface. It could look similar to what you see on Android TV with all your TV shows, all your, your services. Um, ready there for you and uh, of course we don't know what ports we have we don't know the amount of storage or how that whole situation works but just reading from the lines it seemed like this box is gonna be tied to some kind of service or subscription with the ability to download and use additional applications as far as the price i can't speculate but just looking at the, the actual device the remote seem pretty standard i would say you have the tv input up top the power you also have a settings and the menu your mute volume up and down your navigation is going to be in the middle, your back button, your voice controllers, as well as the info button. IR receiver in the front, so it looks like it is an IR remote, assuming anyway. And uh, as far as the ports, we don't really know what ports are on it as of yet. No pricing announced as of yet. Uh, what we see in this, this article is what we know already, and we don't really have a release date for US customers at least. When I get more details, I'll see if this is something worth testing, worth getting, worth reviewing. Uh, know that the cable companies comcast have a, a really bad reputation as well as at&t so 
that in itself just gonna turn off a lot of users uh, from actually trying this and give it in a fair shake. Drop your thoughts in the comments, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smash the thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.